The central banks don't tell you everything. More than half of the important information that they should be sharing with the public is kept secret behind closed doors. This is how the central banks make all of their money, to be honest. But in this movie, I'm going to show you a lot of their schemes and plans, including how they steal from you to make a lot of money. I'm going to connect all of this to XRP in a beautiful way that fixes all of these problems. We are going to really listen to what Roll Pal has to say because it is very important for our future financial well-being. Press the like button so that everyone can see this important information. Let's watch the movie. This is my main point. I don't disagree. Things can't lose 90% of their value. When the value of the currency is lowered, the main collateral of the system goes up, making it look like the value of the currency is going down. People who sold things left and the stock market went up in body bar terms, but down in dollar terms. So if your security keeps going up, that's what they learned in 2008. We can quickly devalue the currency to back up the whole thing. When the collateral goes up, my bills don't seem so bad anymore. Okay, magic. You already know it's not magic. It's just a trick. It's not just magic. They are stealing from you in a different way. Okay. Before this did happen, in the 1940s and 1950s, this is exactly what took place. The big economies did the same thing because they had huge bills after World War II putting pressure on the economy by controlling the yield curve, which means buying government bonds to keep interest rates low, as we've seen. They made money out of thin air. The value of the loan had also dropped over time. And they were able to make an efficiency miracle, which caused the GDP to grow. You don't know it, but you are being killed. It all took place already. It has begun, and everyone is waiting for it to end. Everything is 90% less valuable. It's not possible. Everything happened in 2008, so it can't happen now. The world stopped in 2008. It all went wrong with debt. So we could pay for it. We had to have a debt jubilee where all government loans around the world were raised and set back to zero. Rates have been low. Then we've been using all of the central bank's balance sheets to pay the interest on debt from earlier cycles. We've talked about this everything code theory. To pay off our bills, we are printing more money, which is called debasement. It didn't work in 2008. Following that, the Basel I, I, I agreements changed the way the financial system worked. These agreements made banks give less and hold more treasuries. Why? Treasuries will be easy to come by in large amounts. The whole thing is broken and everyone knows it. It broke. What's going on now? To really break down 90%, it would have to be 1929 all over again. You should be able to see it. You're not getting it. The value of the currency is going down by 15% a year. It all adds up to a huge loss of money. It's in a tax that you can't see. It's easier than raising taxes by 15%, which is publicly unpopular, but what they need to do to pay off the debt. Printing money only makes it worth less, so you are paying for it. Yes, this trend with banks has been going on since the 1950s, as Rao Pal has said. There are two very clear ways to get out of that system. You can either buy in a cryptocurrency. This is because it gives you a choice, guarantees the supply, and doesn't charge you any extra fees. You can also put your money into other things like tech stocks or other stocks of companies that are growing faster than inflation. We can get out of the system then. But there's one thing we can't really get away from, and it makes all of our futures look very uncertain. Artificial intelligence and other technologies are changing so quickly that they could destroy the economy in a way we've never seen before. This isn't like other technological revolutions, like the Bronze Age, the Silver Age, or whatever this time. If AI is just left to do its own thing, it will take over all of our work. That makes me wonder what we're going to do. And this one is really interesting because it has a lot to do with business. If people are worthless, where do we get our value? And so, well, it's really interesting that Rutapel also goes into this in a lot of detail. Uh, you should all listen to this whole thing because I think you'll learn a lot from this part of the piece. But before we go back to the video, I want to remind you that now is the best time to start buying XRP on the Margix Exchange and spreading out your costs over time. This is especially true if you use my link below as you will receive free XRP just for buying it. Keeping that in mind, unfortunately, I believe that some great chances to buy XRP are just around the corner. Those of you who want to join in and make a crap ton of money with me should keep an eye on this channel and also sign up and put money on margin. I'll be opening up some leverage positions here soon for my own XRP bags. And when I start making money, I'll talk about that on my YouTube account too. That way you guys can make money with me. Sign up and make a deposit on Margex. Come back to the movie. Plus robots equals an infinite number of work units. You can see how quickly it's coming. It's impossible for you to imagine what the economy will be like after 2030. That's what's wrong with me. When we're going over the cliff of death, I don't worry about it. I found an asset that I can use to invest in crypto or buy technology. It's making up for the mess caused by debasement, so I'm good. Which is harder. To ask what the hell does an economy mean after 2030 when AI, robots, and AGI are everywhere? What is a business? What do you or I bring to that world that is valuable? We talk to other people about it and think about it, but you and I are both working on AI tools that will give us a digital Tom and a digital Tom and a digital Rao. We won't even have to be there for them to do their job. They'll do it pretty well. Are these things something we're both working on? But are we just going to be replaced? Nick Bostrom, a famous Oxford University professor and leading writer on this topic, wrote a well-known book about the future. There's an economics group there with people who care about the same things I do. Uh, 
if this is true, you could double GDP in a year, the world's GDP or a week. What do companies mean when they talk about AI? I think that OpenAI is using AGIG to build its own AI, which is why they're iterating so quickly with 500 people. And what they're doing is fucking crazy. How fast they're going through it is something I've never seen before. Even Elon Musk says, I've never seen anything like this before. This moves faster and faster and faster as we have more AI to build AI in companies. To answer your question, the blast might happen the other way around. It's not likely to be the business falling apart. It could be that the business is going through so much trouble that we don't know how to handle it. What do people mean? What do we do? We've talked about all of this before. I worry about a lot of different things. I don't worry about the economy going down the drain because I know how they handle it. They've pretty much set the rules. That will help me make money. Okay, that's fine. It's this other part. That's the tough part. There's more scar there. Dot, this is what the banks really don't want you to know. At the moment, a system is being built that will be able to replace all of us. I think there are two real ways to see the future. In one sense, there is the dystopian horror, which is very scary because it's not certain what will happen. People at the top don't seem to care about us commoners. They might just wipe us out once everything is automated, then they can live in their own perfect world without us. On the other hand, we don't know if it will be a system where we can do whatever we want, whenever we want, and move all the time, and you know, everything will be done automatically, and prices will be very low because no one will have to be paid. It sounds like communism, but will it really work? I mean, I'm not sure, but please let me know what you all think, because I believe that the future is very unclear and that we can't know for sure what it will look like. But there are things we can do to be in charge. This means that cryptocurrency gives us power over our money. End-to-end -end encryption on social media sites lets us keep our info private. Of course, the only way to avoid a future nightmare is to vote for someone who will fight for your needs and wants in politics. I really hope that we can all do these things together and have the best future possible. I believe that we can have a great future as long as people work together and do what they've always done, fight for the best result. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe button below if you agree with that message. Help spread the word about all this great information. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.